Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. This tutorial video is going to cover one of the ways to get Mixamo animations loaded onto a Cinti Polygon character. And I'm going to do this in two different process videos um, because what I found is if you buy your Cinti assets from the Unreal Engine store, they come in a format called U-Asset. But if you actually go to the um, the Cinti website, which is CintiStore.com, if you buy them from there, you'll actually get a package that includes the source files. Okay, so this particular process works with using the source files from the packages. So if I went down in here and I said, in the Polygon Fan Fantasy Pack, for example, I have fantasy character source files and under the characters I actually have the FBX files here. If I looked at the one that was for the Unreal Engine version of this, what you have in here, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, under the characters, you actually have these U asset files. And to the best of my knowledge, you can't upload these onto Mixamo. Maybe somebody knows a way to do that, but uh, this one is going to cover if you actually have purchased this from the Cinti store. And I highly recommend that you buy all your stuff from the Cinti store directly um, for a couple of different reasons, but primarily because it's just an easy way to keep track of your stuff. But if you do buy them from there and uh, you have all this content and everything, I'm going to show you how to make all this work. And I'm going to use both versions of it. So here we go without dragging this on too far. So the first thing is I have a third party project or a third person project rather that I created with the uh, you know with the create new project template format. And in this one, you know, you have your regular mannequin, your animations and everything and a third person blueprint, etc. Just a normal. I don't have any starter content in here or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my folders over here for the polygon character fantasy pack and again I've got my source file characters here with these FBX's okay so we're gonna go to the Mixamo website and we would log in okay and under the characters section we would go to upload a character and I'm gonna say upload a character to Mixamo and I wanna select a character file so from here I would go into my source file folder and I can pick one of these character FBX files. And I'm going to say open and let that upload. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring it into the environment where we can assign animations to it. This is really the easiest way that I've found so far. And I've done this a number of different ways. You can do it if you already had your, you know, like if you bought this from uh, directly from Unreal Engine and you had just the U asset files, you can do this also, but it takes a little bit longer. And I'm still working on some of the issues with it. But here we see a preview of our character. Now it's not going to have any mesh uh, coloring on there or anything like that in here. It's just the, the basically the form of the character. And that's okay for what we're trying to do because we just need the animations. Okay, so I'm going to say next. And now that I have my character in here, I can go and find animations for it. And in Mixamo, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically a free service that allows you to connect animations to your character. And you can see it once it came together here it's already picking up that pro magic pack that I had selected earlier before I started this video um, but for example if I selected shoved reaction with spin it's gonna play it on that on that character and show you what it, what it would look like okay now for this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that you can actually go in here and type in pack under your search engine and you'll come up with these video or these uh, animation files that all work together so here's like an entire farming pack a locomotion pack the breakdancing pack etc okay and what I'm going to do just for the sake of this video is I'm going to get a fairly basic pack just something real simple like here's I think I downloaded this earlier as the uh, the pro magic pack well, actually I went and got uh, the entire pro magic pack so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that I'll go in and say, I want to find, I think you can just type in magic pack and filter that down even further. So here's the pro magic pack. It's got 56 animations on there that will go with this character skeleton. And the reason we're doing this is because if we provide a skeleton to Mixamo for the Cinti skeleton mesh, 
it's just going to work out so much easier to make these animations work with this. You don't really have to jump through all the hoops that I did in this other process I'm going to show you later. But for this one, I mean, it just comes in. It kind of works right out of the box. You can scan through here and see all the different animations and things that are going on here. And when this is done, you know, when it's all loaded up, basically you just go over here and say download. Your character is going to come down in a T-pose in the FBX format, and you're just going to hit download, and it's going to give you a zip file. Okay, now I've already done that. And when I did it, I got a package like this that says, oh, here's your download Pro Magic Pack. And it has a copy of my character in there, the SK character female druid. And then all these different animations that work with that skeleton. Okay. But what I'm going to do is something a little bit different now. I'm in this package for, I'm sorry, this uh, project for the um, Unreal Engine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here to the downloads that I had. And I had my my Polygon Fantasy Character Pack. Right? All these different files that I had un uh, downloaded earlier from buying this. So I got them right here, Fantasy Characters Pack. I'm going to go into the Unreal version of that under Content and get Polygon Fantasy Characters. So I'm going to right-click that and hit Copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this section and I'm going to go right click on here and say show an explorer and it's going to take me to that project folder and I'm going to right click in there and I'm just going to say paste and go back and now what you'll see is that I actually have the polygon fantasy characters here <clears throat> and if I open that up I can go into characters I got all my characters and everything's there now if I open one of these up for example this druid character that we used on the uh, earlier portion in Mixamo I now have all my meshes and colors and um, files to, to create that character. So in my Polygon Fantasy Characters section, I'm going to create a new folder here called Animations. Okay, and I'm going to, in that Animations folder, I can now go back over here to where I had downloaded my information earlier. I'm sorry, when I downloaded this Pro Magic pack with all that stuff in there. In the Pro Magic Pack, basically, I want everything except for this. But because this is a tutorial video, I'm not going to get all of it. I'm just going to grab these ones that are two handed uh, features. So I'll grab the two handed ones. And I'm going to drag these into here. Okay. And it asked me what I want to do with it. Well, I want to assign it to my skeleton for the character Fantasy Skeleton. Okay. Convert the scene unit should be on. And I'm just going to say Import All. Everything else should be fine. So it's going to bring the animations in, but it's going to assign them to <clears throat> that target skeleton. Okay? We want to say Save All. And if I double-click these, you'll see that I now have my Sinti character playing the animation for that two-handed attack. Here's a different one. All these different animations that came from the Mixamo setup, right? So there we go. And it's just that easy if you have the FBX skeleton to upload there. Now, I'm going to make the recommendation, as I said earlier, I don't work for Cinti. I don't work for Unreal Engine. I'm just another person out there like you trying to navigate through this. But I will tell you that if you go to the Polygon Fantasy Characters Pack and buy that for 13 bucks, just to give you an FBX file <clears throat> that's compatible with all their other packs to upload and create meshes and or, uh, animations for, it's well worth the money. Okay, so I am going to show you another way to do that in another video. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you would say, well, you know, now that we have this in here, what's what's the benefit of this? What can we do with it? Well, now that you have a character in here that works with that, I can go to my third-person uh, blueprint. And if I went into my third-person blueprint, I can go to Viewport and Mesh. And like we had done in a previous video, I could go in here and pick... Let's go and pick, like, my female droid character. And she doesn't have a blueprint in here to be able to, to run anything. Right? But let's do this. We're going to take our character from the skeleton. It's in a T-pose. We have selected rig as humanoid, and it's got all the different uh, bones mapped on it. <clears throat> and we want to go over here in our preview mesh. You could either select a preview mesh here and go to this preview scene and hit apply to asset and save that. If you do it, now what you've done is you've created a, 
a preview meshed T posed character <clears throat> that's humanoid rigged. Again, sorry for coughing in these videos. I've been a little sick. And now I can go to my mannequin that came with the uh, the template. I go to the character here in that mesh and go and get that skeleton. Okay. And I can make sure that this is selected for humanoid. And it's got all of its different uh, bones mapped and a preview mesh. I go in here and I'm going to set my grid uh, rotation snapping value down to 5 degrees. I would take my upper arm, take it back to 45. Lower arm is going to get tilted back 20. The other arm is going to get up 45. And the lower arm back 20. And then what we're going to do is say modify pose, use current pose. We're going to save this. Now why did I go through the trouble of doing all that? Well, here's what it is. This character under the mannequin has all the stuff already set up for the third person animation blueprint to run around in the game. So now that I've put these in the correct pose, I can go in here and say retarget animation blueprint and duplicate anim blueprints and retarget. And guess what? I got this, the character fantasy skeleton here is available for retargeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prefix these with UE underscore because that's where they came from. And I'm going to go in here to change the location. I'm going to put it under my polygon fantasy character animation. I'm going to hit OK and retarget. And if you look at polygon fantasy character animation folder, you now see that I also have all the UE third persons, the animation blueprint, and the run and idle and all that kind of stuff. So guess what? If I say save all, and I go back one last thing to my blueprint third person character, viewport mesh. I still have that character there, but now what I've done is I've created a copy of the animation blueprint. I prefix it with UE underscore third person and MVP. And lo and behold, our character, compile, save, and close, our character now has the default animations that play on it that we used on our previous character with the mannequin. And I can jump, and I can move side to side and run around and I can jump up here and you know, everything works because this is now our game character and if I go into my animation blueprint for this UE third person and MVP if I double click that I can go in here and I can put all these different things in my animation blueprint all of these are now compatible for this character so let's say I wanted to change my uh, my blend spaces or whatever. I could do it all right here. Here's my uh, blend spaces or something we'll probably cover in a different video. But basically it's the thing that takes you from your um, idle animation up into running. Okay. So this is the default UE third person. If you look at this you can see that it's the UE third person idle. And then it transitions into a walk and then to a run. Well if I had a... In this Pro Magic pack, I probably have an idle in here somewhere that I could use. So here's like idle two, three, and four. So let's just grab a couple of these, and we're going to do the same thing. We'll go back in here. I'm going to close this and close this blueprint. I'm going to go into that. Um, these are my animations, right? So I'm going to go grab these from the Pro Magic pack and just drag them in here, right? And what skeleton do we want to put them on? Well, we want to use them on our fantasy character skeleton. Make sure convert scenes on, hit import all. And I'm going to have even more animations that come in here. Okay? I know this video is getting a little bit lengthy, but it's a lot of stuff going on. So hopefully you guys have value to this. And, you know, if I'm moving too fast, feel free to slow it down and watch it, you know, over and over again or whatever. If I'm moving too slow, speed it up or skip ahead. But again, it gets me back in here, so I have even more animations now. I can go in here, and that animation is going to work. These are my idols, right? Idle 4, idle 2, idle 3. So I can go into my blend space, and again, we'll cover this hopefully in a future video, and I can take my blend space now and say, well, let me put that on there as my standing idle instead. Okay, so now when I save this, go back out here and play the game, when my character's just standing around, they're just going to be doing that idle animation now okay pretty cool stuff right
So I'm going to run around a little bit. When I stop, I'll go into that idle animation. Might be a little abrupt, but you get the idea. I mean, you'd have to work on some stuff here. I'm just showing you big ticket stuff here. Okay, guys, hopefully that helps. Again, uh, super quick overview. Go to the Cinti store, buy the Polygon Fantasy Character Pack, download the zip file. That zip file is going to include all of the assets that you need to be able to get the FBX file that you can then upload to Mixamo and assign your animations to that character, download it. Once you get the download, you're not going to use this FBX. You're going to use the one that goes with Mic with uh, Unreal Engine. And then you can bring these animations in and assign them to that character. Okay? That's if you're using a polygon character inside of Unreal Engine that you want to have Mixamo animations with. Okay? One way to do it. I'm not saying it's the only way. It's just the way that I found to be the uh, the least painful. So I'm going to stop the video here. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, or whatever, please feel free to let me know. Again, my name is TC Mabe. I am not a professional educator. I do not work for Unreal Engine. I am not affiliated with the Cinti um, asset packs of the studios. I don't receive financial compensation for doing these videos. It's just something I ran across. I'm learning how to use the engine. Hopefully these help you as they've helped me. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.